bản tuyên án các người có mặt tại đây là những tội phản của nhà nước truy tố các người là đã phản động nhân dân của nước cộng hòa việt nam đã công tác với trung quốc nước ngoài và âm mưu lật đổ chế độ hiện hành của chính phủ việt nam và dân tiền và giúp đỡ của kẻ thù dân tộc các người có mặt tại đây đã bị chú tốt nước hoàn quán quân sự và phải chịu hình phạt nặng nề chịu theo phạt luật xứng đáng với tội phản của các người đó là tội tự hình công khai You speak the language pretty good. Now, what'd you say to him? What I said and what I implied are two different things. What's his problem? He just busted his training bag. Must be looking for something to stuff it with. Tell him to try his mother. Did anybody ever teach him the difference between hospitality and hospitalized? Yeah, yeah, we can afford. Well, let's see what he can afford. How's your chook, Kaku? Okay.
warmed up. How would you like a real fight? I'd love to go a couple rounds with you. Once I found my friend, Mac Jarvis. Mac Jarvis? What do you want with that bag of foul wind? So calling names. Mac's been like my brother since I was a teenager. You know, he's a Vietnam hero. Big deal. So are thousands of others. What's the matter? He love you and leave you? He couldn't tie his own shoelaces. Never mind something so complicated. Please, just tell me where he is, and I'll be gone before you can say go. Yeah? You might try the superstar in Pat Palm. He used to be his pit stop. What's Pat Palm? It's the Skid Row for Misfits. If I were you, I'd stay clear from that area. If you want to keep all your parts. Thanks for the pep talk. But I gotta do it my way. Please. One moment, please. Come in, it's open. <laughs> this one like it's big. But it's too speech and flash for you big dog. No, get out. Hey, Celine. What's that? What's the big problem? Uh, nothing, it's just my phone. Why, right, it's full. Yes, out. I'm going to you now. Uh, this is Celine speaking. Miss Wing, this is Frank Donald, assistant registrar of Oberlin College calling. It appears we have some problem with your diploma. My diploma? It appears the graduation committee of the dean's office are greatly disappointed with your, shall we say, somewhat scandalous relationship with Mr. Scott Wilde. We must request that you return your diploma immediately. Scott, cut it out. Where are you? In Bangkok, I just got here. But you said you'd be here next week. I miss you, babe. I miss you, too. Have you told your parents yet? I was waiting for you to get here. Where can we meet to, uh, you know? Have dinner? I know a fantastic place. The Palace Garden on Sukhumit Road. I got a better idea. What do we have? Hey, you! You keep on me. You don't know what it's hanging. Hey, Forget it. You don't want it. Stop! Stop! What's going on? Get her out of my room! Sorry, honey. It's a bell cabin trying to deliver someone's dog to this room. Try next door! Like I was saying, I'll see you there. Okay. I'll make reservations. Bye. Okay, bye. Good evening, sir. May I have you, sir? Table for two, please. Do you have reservations? I'm supposed to meet someone here. Can we pager? Sue Lin Wing. Oh, this way, sir. Thank you. Thank you. 
Shares in the diamond mine, too, huh? I thought you said Vietnamese people were poor. They are. I got the electronics. That's all. I ordered some of my dad's favorite dishes. Just in case you might want to impress him. Well, what's good for your dad's good for me. <laughs> what's all this stuff? This is deep fried locust. That is steamed cicada. And that one over there is smoke dried iguana. These are steamed meatballs, right? No, they're tiger's balls. Real tiger's balls? Uh-huh. I can see your dad could be a tough guy to negotiate with. I think I'll try the soup instead. Not even gonna ask. Maybe I like this one better. It's special. Oh, great. I love this stuff. I have it all the time when I go to Chinese restaurants. Mm, you know, it's the best bean curd I've ever had. Scott, dear. Plus, I'm like his friend. <laughs> I spared no expense. Your kindness will go unrewarded. Bing Yang Chin speaking. Hello, are you still there? What happened? What do you mean they are there? How about the general? Hello, hello, is there anybody there? Damn it! his classmates. I think I lied to you a little bit. My family isn't poor. I got a lot of money. My dad travels in high circles. I won't hold it against him. Just so long as he accepts me for what I am. Anyway, money can't buy happiness. That's probably the damn pimp again. What pimp? Hey, I told you that... Oh, my God. 
I'm trying to find her parents to tell them I think she's been kidnapped. Come on, Ali. For what? Hey! You can't do this to me! I'm an American! Hey, you gotta read me my rights! You have no rights. You just hide out. I want to see a lawyer! I want to sue you, Ali! All of this freaking country will make my way get through with you! I told you we're just friends. I told you we're just friends. How many times do I have to tell you the same thing before you understand? I want to speak to the American consulate. You should have thought of that before you start killing people in Thailand. You must say, we have advised you better. I swear it wasn't my fault. You trying to tell me those men were just dying for a fix? Hey, man, drugs are a deadly trip, you know? John! Do you think you can arrange it? Yes, if you have the green light from your American consul. After I received your phone call, I informed the consul general. He's already given his consent. Captain, have the young man taken out to base five immediately. There'll be a plane waiting there to take him to Singapore. We're going to have to inform immigration to block his re-entry visa for three months until this thing blows over. Give him some money. The captain was not his fault. He was only trying to help. You leaving on the station flight to Singapore. I suggest you do not wait her. Leaving why? What am I charged with? Murder. Or perhaps you like to hang instead.
How's it going? You still Chris Underhook, kid? What's the matter, big man? Can't put him down? China White? Come on, Mac. You know me better than that. Yeah, I do. Okay. You hungry? Start. I need to find a place where we can shout out without some bounty hunter trying to cash in your chips. Come on. sound like you. I thought you came over here for more high-powered action. Never thought you'd retire. Hey, cool farm boy. Don't drive the knife any farther than... I know. So what's our third choice? Right, right. Oh. Good chow and no bounty hunters, huh? the last time I have dinner with you. Well, cut the comedy. We're in a deep hole. We're going to need a pat hand to get out of it. How about a royal flush? <laughs> Good evening. Where's the girl? 
Where's the girl? <laughs> get out of the way, kid. You don't want to get with the spray. It's kind of like punching open a can of beer. In with it. That's Vietnamese for climb Death Mountain. What the hell's that? Couldn't want to. Cambodia. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> We take that division of Marines I got parked out in the back, march them down the middle of the Vietnamese Army, and demand a release, right? You got any better ideas? Yeah, skip the wedding march. Find yourself another playmate. Asia's teaming with them. Mac, Sulin's gonna be the mother to my kids. <laughs> with you or without you, I'm gonna get her back any way I can. start a war you got one it's a hell of a reunion though bud besides what would people say if i let some cherry ass go pop it off in a bush by himself now you're talking yeah well talk by his time but we got to cover space and fast now we're gonna need some special transportation go to goodies for the natives take mastercard sorry you need a flying circus to move old sudden doom besides you can't afford it we're gonna go like this no, I'll get you some black pajamas and it'll fit right in. All right, look, let's get cracking. I got some phone calls to make. All right, 
like that should do it. Chop will be here in a minute. Get it. You got it. She looks like an angel. If you were expecting Santa Claus, you're in for a big surprise. So what'll it be for you two Boy Scouts? Standard tour of Bangkok? Jealous son of a bitch and booked her. This broad doesn't know the difference between a rotor and a blender. Speak for yourself. Nobody knows this territory like I do. Besides, I'm the best. Infiltrating political backyards is my specialty. Anyway, had I know it would have been the two of you, I would have told the jobber to screw off. Fine. Set this bird down, let me fly it. Oh, no. I don't have no death wish. Well, neither do I. Would you two tell me what's going on? Oh, she's pissed because I wouldn't jump her phone. He's threatened because I used to break his. Yeah. You know, there's a fine line between sex and violence. It's too bad you erased it. I didn't know you were so discriminating. <laughs> Listen, if you two guys want to pull out, that's fine with me. I get paid either way. That sounds familiar. Terry, remember, you get what you can afford. Listen, Blue Eyes. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you two know each other? Yeah, we met at your old ship. Oh, jeez. Spark bags are under your seat, gentlemen. You'll probably need them. ผู้กองได้ข่าวเกี่ยวกับอะไรลูกสาวพวกนั้นเนี่ยก็ยังไม่ได้มีข่าวทาวน์เท่าไหร่นะครับนักเป็นชายของฟลินก็ได้หลบหนีไปเรียบร้อยแล้วที่สนามบินหนีไปแล้วมีคนพยายามช่วยเขาพาหลบหนีไปทางเครื่องบินเข้าไปในเขมรเข้าไปในเขมรด้วยนะเนี่ยผู้กองแน่ใจอ่ะพวกลูกสาวไปในเขมรก็ยังไม่แน่ใจนะครับแต่คิดว่าเครื่องชายฟลินเนี่ยคงจะทราบอะไรบางสิ่งบางอย่างแต่ถ้ามีการติดต่อกับบรรทัศน์เชื่อสุนาแจ้งกลับไปที่ผมด่วนนะครับผมน่าจะแจ้งคุณทราบได้ด่วนแต่ว่าผู้กองต้องใช้ความสามารถให้เต็มที่ค้นหาลูกสาวผมให้ได้แล้วเออทั้งเราได้พยายามอย่างเต็มเต็มความสามารถเลยครับบอลบอยส์ welcome to Cambodia where's the sign about 150 miles back yo thanks for the warning What for? You've been flying high enough for the Vietnamese radar to guide us in anyway. Listen, you do your job and I'll do mine, okay? See that clearly up ahead? Yeah. Set it down over there. That's a Roger. Thank <laughs> you. 
thought you knew these guys. Yeah, I thought so, too. I'll be damned if I can remember from where, though. <laughs> Colonel Toll, no. I'm Mac. So, Mac. My friend. We need a lot, huh? <laughs> Colonel, this is my associate, Scott Wilde. Sir? Scott? And this is our pilot. Hello? <laughs> well, Mac, what brings you to my country? It's, uh, it's personal, Colonel. Personal. <laughs> well, Mac, you always try me a hot dog. Come on in. Have a seat and get off one. <laughs> Colonel, Queen Yang King's daughter is being held captive somewhere in the part of a mountain. He's asked us to try and locate her and bring her back if she's still alive. Yeah, mountain range is a big area to cover. Besides, isn't Vietnam is held to return? What made you think that I know where she is? Does the tiger sleep on unfamiliar ground? Well, why should I do this favor to you? Your father would be very grateful. It's true. Green Dan Kim has been an asset to our cause. But we have a clue. Climb Death Mountain. Now this time, you're asking a lot, my friend. Climb Death Mountain. It's the code name for the Thai security and Soviet training based deep within the jungle of the Katamon Range at the source of the Sangha River. The Soviets are much linked hardcore Vietnamese and committed insurgents to search and destroy dissident group throughout the area. Their mode of operation involves both terrorism and torture of the worst kinds. Their long-term objective is to subjugate peoples of Southeast Asia. Their most immediate objective is to annihilate our resistant movement. They have tried to get men in there, but none have come out. She must be worth a lot of money to you to come so far. Well, she's worth a lot to her father. I see. So it would cost you. Cost? No problem. You see this? I got a hundred of these. Special, just for you. 20% off. Sorry, Mac. I need more firepower than that to handle the Vietnamese artillery. Well, Colonel, sir. I got it. Will this do it? Wait a minute. Oh, uh, yeah. Huh. I see. You're holding on me, Mac. No. Come on, never mind. I take one. Of course. And I pay you in black rice. No, 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 Colonel. Opium, I... Come on, Mac. For you, it's a piece of cake. Sure, Mac. You can always smoke the profit. Come on. Oh, what the hell. Colonel, you did it again. You win. Good. Now that's just one other condition I'd like to mention. One other condition. I keep the pilot till you return. No way! You can eat shit and die, Colonel! <laughs> oh, you mean like a security deposit? That's right. Well, Colonel, that makes you happy having her around here. I'm happy. You guys gotta be kidding. I'm not gonna stand for this bullshit. You guys are all sucking up flies. I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Good luck. I'll kill you, Mac. I swear to God, I'll do it. Like I was saying, Colonel, you drive a hard bargain. Now, don't wait up for us, honey, right when you get work. Excuse me. Now, let's go.
me a heap of trouble. So what do we do now? Get the hell out of here. What else? What about Sue Lynn? I can't leave without her. We're not exactly equipped to take on the entire Red Menace now, are we? Excuse for a broad will have a commie running for cover like stink on. Shut up, Mac. Before I pound the wind out of you. You know, that was a dirty trick you tried to pull back there. Mac had a plan. What plan? It's an effort for burnt toast. Working with the aerial acrobatics, the bastards would have never got a fix on us. Knock it off, Mac. It's no more her fault what happened back there than it is yours for being in love with her. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Scott. You really have a vivid imagination. So let's figure out where we go from here. It's your campaign, kid. I vote we head back. You don't get a vote. You're just along for the cheap laugh. I love you too, Mac. Will you two do as you like? I'm gonna find that camp. Her father must have offered you guys a bundle. Well, I'm with Scott. That is if you want me. Hey, Florence Nightingale. I could use a little attention over here, too. I thought all snakes shed their skin. Didn't you? Come on, come on, come on. 
No dinner bell. It's a bunch of Buddhist monks. They should be able to give us directions. Uh -huh. Directions? I don't trust nobody, don't eat meat. Come on, Mac. All I do is sing and shake beads all day. Touch is then ought to do the trick. I got your touch. Mac, that's right. They're harmless. Besides, a bowl of veggies could do you some good. I hear they're great for constipation. <laughs> Well, the I... The frog's ass water tight? Mac, can you tell us where the main branch of the Sankara River is from here? Are you lost? We're looking for a friend. I see. What you see, that's where the sunset. I will show you the way. Come. Thank <laughs> you. 
your child was taken for life. And we sent you by helicopter. You must have been a poacher in your past life. It's catching up to you, pal. What? You just made the endangered species list. <laughs> She'd run. Never trust the fraud. Just turn the boat around. I guess there's something to be said about all this religion after all. Matt, check this out. Looks like we found the real monks. Yeah, looks like some forced meditation. Hey guys. Whoa, 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 behind door number two. We happen to have a new breed of rusty pineapple. Designed to take out about half the city block. Yeah, well, what's all this stuff for? I say these old bundles of joy are heading up river to Russia. Yeah, let's make a delivery.
Let's get it straight. I don't deal with flunkies. You're gonna have to fight me, yourself. <laughs> so if that's the way you want it, I'll go through him to get... Yeah! <laughs> Americans have better manners. Pity. Your boyfriends are dead. Soon you will follow them if you're not careful.
Sam, he will send you. I will see to it. You get out of here alive. Well, I'll tell you. I think the tour operator was Cambodian Holiday. Tour operator? Like I was saying, I got separated from my tour. We were supposed to view the remains of the B-52 today. Hmm? B-52? I really should be getting back. They take a head count. And if you're not there at dinner, it's the stockade. What? Am I going too fast for you? Have you heard the theory about small brains and big dicks? Enough! You make a split of me. Uh -huh. You attack my sons. Mucks! They were mucks, and they attacked us first. You were on your way. I just hate it when it goes all out for tourists. And I treat them like shit. You know, I don't think you're not even doing it. Shut up! This is what you risk your life for? Doesn't seem quite worth it, does it? Don't worry about ending up like her, my dear. Yeah, I'm Celine, remember when I told you we were waiting for your father? Just learned that he's come back to Jamaica. Your father was the only thing keeping you alive, Celine. understand that it was his choice, not mine. I'm glad this was my father's hand. They're building your execution platform now. Oh, yeah? I'll see that you use it first, mister. That's a promise. <laughs> well, you never keep. By the way, if I hear from your tour company, I try to get you a refund. Jesus, kid, you want a Chinese gong to beat on, too? Here. Beat on that for a while. I think I best move, kid. To get the hell out of here. You're forgetting Sue Lin. Yeah, I suppose I am. I got one question to ask you. What's that? You think you could hit my head? That crossbow from over there? Yeah, I suppose so. Why? Is that an invitation? No, it's not. I got an idea. First, we gotta take out that guard tower. How come you're here? I wish I knew. We came here to take you back to your father. But I'm really here because of Scott. Scott Lyle? You know him well? We're supposed to get married. Where's Scott now? Is he okay? Uh, he's on his way with Mac. They should be here by morning. Don't worry. It'll be okay.
Remove the blindfolds. <laughs> I wanted you to be a part of this morning's feeding. I think you'll find this most entertaining. You know, you really missed your vocation. You would have been a big hit at the circus. You're a cross between a jackass and a snake. Enough. We begin. <laughs> You gotta nail that target on the other side, otherwise. Don't worry. You're covered, man. Catch you later. You know what to do. Get some. Let's do it. I decided so that our friends will dine on your feet first, then on your legs. Quite clever, no? Is that you, I smell? Or crocodile shit?
Use your leg. Push, baby. Come on. Come on. That's the only one. Stand still, could you? Never ask me. Doesn't mean I didn't want to. Doesn't mean I would have anyway. Oh. You always had to get him the last word, didn't you?
before. Scott. Let's get the hell out of here, all right? 